Why hello there boxers and grapplers alike, Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy and in this episode of sketch o rama we are going to be drawing Baki the Grappler or uh, muscles in Baki the Grappler style and here I've already started doing a couple warm up sketches but I'm going to start over. We're going to try to figure this out mostly together, it's all I've really done because I thought alright let me start to get an idea of the back. Because that's where I want to start. Because look at these muscles, man. The way they do them, simplify it, is very interesting, I thought. Using um, just a circle for this group of muscles here that attaches to the scapula, which is a more complicated part of the body. Also, you'll see the way that they uh, simplify all the muscles is pretty interesting. So I think we should start from there. And uh, I'm going to try to put the back in, in like normal straight behind view and interpret what's going on with the muscles first and maybe we'll try some more twisted poses and stuff we'll see what happens so let's see here there we've got the basic idea alright so the first muscle I'm seeing is this combined it looks like it's the um, erector spinae and the uh, trapezius or maybe it's just a trapezius muscle and then it kind of like just kind of hints into the erector spiny. So usually the trapezius muscle has three heads. So you got something going on like that. How do the fibers go? Oh, I forget. But basically it looks like that shape. So it looks like what they're doing is they're kind of just rounding, rounding it off like that and emphasizing this part. And then of course putting the, the line in the middle for the spine. And the other thing is that these muscles, the muscles you most associate with the trapezius, because they get the, the most obviously big when you, you have lots of muscle, those are kind of overlapping the neck muscle. Alright, cool. Then right here we've got that interesting guy, right here. So let's just put a little circle or whatever. To mark them out. I'm going to kind of try to play, um, you know, like fill in the dots or whatever. I'm trying to piece this thing together very simply. And then you've got the, uh, what's it called? Lats coming in through here. And what I've noticed on another one, here I'll bring it over on this side. I'm going to try to do it like a synthesis of all of these. Is it? Uh, right here. See that little connector thing? I like that. I think that kind of gives the missing piece that without it, it would look strange in this situation. I think that missing piece is my computer will work. Hello? Did my computer freeze? Alright. I don't know what happened there. So I think the missing piece is just between, so let's put in the, the shoulder. Something like that. And then there's that little gap right there. And then this is the, the, they pretty much simplify. I'm going to extra simplify, but there's the, tri the, the triceps from behind, just simple like that. And then connecting there. And then uh, the arm, you'll see, look how skinny it is. Just two round things. And then the skinny the uh, wrist coming out the more bony part of the wrist and it depends on what angle you're at but basically if his hands are like see where does it keep disappearing to if his hands are going like this where it's like turned sideways to us and then just as the hand is thin so is the wrist going to be thin if on the other hand get it hand ha 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 <laughs> let's put this one out well let's have this one turning outward the palm turning outward so in that case we're gonna have a wider hand right the thumb should be uh, okay you know so that's I think an easy way to remember and they kind of you'll see in some of these let's see if we can find it I was thinking about this while I was watching the show. 
where is it? I think this is a good example. These two. See how the for the arm, the forearm where there's no where the muscle you know ends, it's got a kind of a square shape. So let's go back here. It's got a kind of a this sort of shape, like a flatter rectangle type thing with the hand connecting in like that. See what I'm saying? And then you just put a big round forearm on it, forearm muscle on it. All right, I think we can get rid of that now, just to get an idea. So this back's coming along pretty decently. It's definitely an easier way to put the back muscles together than trying to do it realistically, because back muscles are pretty complicated. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, maybe because we don't see them as often, but they always seemed a little bit harder to understand, get a grasp on. For me, at least. Okay, and then you just got the uh, obliques coming in here. And uh, I think that's it, pretty much. Let's give him some shorts. What is it? Let's see what we can learn from the shorts. So it's going to kind of puff out a bit. It's got gluteus. I guess it's a straight view. Alright, that should be fine. We'll just leave it at that. Cool. So that's actually a pretty, pretty decent little uh, like shortcut, I think, or like uh, I've learned a few things from this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do maybe this more twisted one. Should I do a really twisted one or this a slightly? Let's do slightly, slightly twisted and maybe really twisted. And maybe this one will just focus on the back because there's so much to learn, and uh, I could do another grap Baki the grappler. Um, Thing. If you guys haven't heard of this, it's a pretty. I've never heard of it until recently. It starts off saying, in Japanese, of course, with white text on the screen. Uh, if any person is born a male, then they will, um, or then at least once in their lifetime, they will dream of becoming the strongest man alive. And then it's like this is the story of Grappler who dreams of becoming the strongest man in the world. Then the 80s theme music plays. <laughs> Something like that. You know, like, it's super cool, though. I don't know, it gets me pumped up anyways. Do some boxing and whatever, martial arts. So let's make this smaller. You know what, let's just start over. Let's just start over. I didn't put that much down. It's not that big a deal. Like... And I think I can do better with the with the uh, action line and all that good stuff. So let's make it a little smaller. And uh, so I'm feeling like that's the action line. Boom, like that. That's it. Okay. And we got the shoulders coming around like this angle. And uh, let's just put in the basic shape of the body and then we'll fill in the blanks. Maybe something like that. And... Like that. And then put the head here. Alright, let's see what we can do filling in the blanks here. So we got, I think it's, I'm going to start again with this big trapezius muscle. Getting the sweep. Now I probably want to give it a little extra room. I want to make sure the back stays wide. And we've got that little guy right here. Let's do the sweep on the other side. Here we got this guy right here, and then it's interesting they put a gap or they have this thing and then I'm not exactly sure why why they kept it separate. I'm not gonna do it because I don't understand it. Let's simplify it to this just the the lats or whatever coming down like that. Let's simplify it. Oops, I didn't put the thing in. That should be more like that angle maybe. Okay, and then, uh, so we've got this guy, and then we've got the big lats coming in. Oh, I see, so the lats is like one piece like that, and they have another piece coming down here. Not 100% sure I understand what those are each representing, but now that I understand that on this side, I can kind of copy it here. This one's puffing out, I guess, because it's more on the flexed side. Oh, but this one's in front. Interesting, interesting. 
Oh, that makes sense. And this guy comes in like that. Is that right? I don't know. This might look a little grotesque, but it's cool for learning purposes. When you're drawing anatomy to begin with, like, or learning something new, it's really going to look good. So, the more important thing is to learn, to think like, oh, why am I doing this shape? Why am I doing that shape? So let's say I'm coming in the spine. Why is there a slight curve here? Well, okay, so we're we're looking at it from, from this angle more. Of, so we're going to see more curves on that side because that's the form is puffing out like that. So that's an interesting thing to keep in mind, even in a subtle twist like this. And then uh, I'll just put the legs in a little bit to get a feel for that. Okay, let's just leave it like that, whatever. Should have more form though. Oh yeah, we're looking from, I gotta remember we're looking from this side, so I gotta show a little bit more of this side on here. All right, cool. And then do the tricep, something like that. Deltoid. And then that's going to come into that. Boom, boom. Bump, bump. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not bad. It's not perfect, but definitely learning something. I'm going to have to do some more sketches on my own. So maybe I'll do that. Since we're just doing a sketch drama, let's uh, let's do a couple sketches from the mind, from the mind's eye. And I should I make these smaller? That look good. All right, like that. Great. Let's do a couple sketches over here. Just like make a random center line. You know, put put in some. Some structure, just a little. All right. Okay. Now let's fill it in. See if we can do it, mostly without looking. Okay. So remember that this is the first line I like to start off with. And I think we're looking a little bit from this angle. So let's have these curving outwards. Make it a little small. And make the brush a little smaller. Got these on top that go right into the deltoid. Okay, don't forget about these little guys here. Then we've got this curving in. This guy right here. He's got a little connection right there, maybe. And then he's curving in. Something like that. I think I'm making the shorts, stretching the back out a little much, but it's okay. Just keep working it. Get a good feel. I'm trying to get a good feel for this technique. It's definitely not going to look good the first time. That's another thing. I think people like draw stuff and they're like, I want it to look good the first time. I think if you kind of get past that and say like, it's just not going to look good the first time, then you'll draw more. You'll draw like, you'll be like, all right, this one's not looking good, but let me finish learning what I'm learning. And then I'll move on to the next one. Hopefully that one will look good. See, I'm not sure what's happening here, so I just did something. Whatever. It's all good. We'll figure that out someday. And then this is... I guess you just put in the head like that. Cool. And if I was looking more on this side, we'll put the little V shape in this, which, come, which is in the exact side of the thing there. We have this sticking out like that. To kind of try to emphasize that it's looking on from this side. Cool, I think that actually turned out all right. Definitely learning something. And then we keep this thin, do you know the form, keep it thin if it's gonna be from the side. And then just kind of like do do do. Alright, whatever. That's chilling. This hand's kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna erase it. I'm gonna erase it up to here. I don't know why the hand's creeping me out. Cool. What about doing this crazy one where it's super twisted? Let's do that. So we're going to draw gra back of the grappler's back. That's our plan for this sketch of Rama. So this, look at that crazy... 
the action line. I gotta start learning to do action lines like that, man. That's a real action line. That line's really in action. If you know what I mean. I don't really mean anything except for that this line's really in action. So you probably do know what I mean. So I won't focus on the arms or anything too much. Plus the arms are looking kind of crazy here. It's like he's double jointed on this one. Is that right? Oh man, it's probably just because I'm not I can't figure it out. The anatomy is beyond me. Alright, whatever. Let's try, let's just try to get this curve. So it seems like there's two curves to the traps. One, two, see we keep seeing one, two on the trapezius. And then this is kind of going like this. There's that round. So the round one, it's interesting, they represent things differently each time. Here's the round one right there. I like how it's just sticking on its own. Boom. It's round. Here's a second. I guess that's the lat coming down. And then this other back muscle is more in front of it. Oh, I'm getting confused on my drawing a little bit. Here's that lat. Here's the other muscle. Oh, man. What is going on here? Okay. So here's the line of action I'm trying to follow still. Coming up here. Here's the upper trapezius. Okay, then we've got this arm coming out. All right. I don't know if this one worked out very well. This is kind of a tough pose. So one thing is I didn't give it enough, like look how collapsed this is. If I was going to, all right, let's just draw another one next to it. Try to fix that. See like that, and then like, like that maybe. Would be a little more accurate. I don't know, this is tough. This is tougher than I thought. I think what I would have to do to start to get this pose is to carefully just copy it and do that like two or three times and then I'll be like okay now I know how to draw it now let me figure out the basic shapes because I'm having trouble figuring out the basic shapes underneath hmm? I'm recording a video oh, oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you want what what is do you need to tell me something or? Uh, We're going to meet up later. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, why don't we do that later in the afternoon? We're going to get together this evening anyways. Maybe before that. Alright, I'm going back to making the video. Alright, so. Let's see. I don't think this one's working out either. I've become a bit too, I've become overly ambitious. Alright. Let's go back and do one or two more, more simple back drawings. And then we'll, we'll call it a day. Oh, I'm not supposed to race for Sketchorama. Oops. Kind of cheated. Alright. So do we have any good references? We won't start on the front yet. I'm feeling this one right here. Because that little collection of muscles right here with the represented by the circle loving it also we've got a much like the the poses turned to this angle okay so we, let's see if we could and there is a twist but I don't know if it's really emphasized here that this should be going more down Something like that. Alright, let's see what we can come up with. So, 
First, let's start off with that big trapezius muscle looking very intriguing here. So I think we can start with these two bumps. And then this one kind of wraps around. Since we're seeing it from this view, we're going to see a lot of bumps coming out this way. Since we're looking from over here. Alright. Now this guy right here, this is the one I want to kind of figure out. I'm liking this shape. I want to keep it, instead of being round, I like the shape we got there. It's more descriptive of the actual uh, form. It's simple yet more descriptive. It's still simple yet more descriptive than a regular, just a circle. And then it plugs in under here, oh, right into the tricep. Now I don't know if that makes sense in real anatomy. But it looks pretty good, so let's just let's just go with it right now. Okay, cool. Okay, and this huge lat. So the lat is kind of in the Bucky the gra Grappler. It seems to be thought of as like a round form, because I guess here there are some tendons attaching. It to there, to the uh, to the spine, I should. Um, but anyways, the main bulk of the muscle is up here, even though usually you see the lat pull all the way down. So since he's so strong, we're saying like, okay, that's super puffed up, pumped up. So that's gonna be almost represented like a round form. What else? Let's see what it looks like on this side. We have got, so we've got the deltoid, and right in here you can see that there would be a, there's like a, a puff right there, a bump, and that is this. I want it to kind of like flow, and I'm saying like the middle of this should kind of sim synchronize with the middle of that. That's the thing, getting symmetry in a non-symmetrical angle is a tricky is tricky business. Still want things to seem symmetrical, even though uh, you know they're all at an angle and stuff like that. And people can tell intuitively if something isn't symmetrical. So that's something to figure out. Um, why isn't this? So this one should plug into here, and this should come up more. We have two distinctive bumps to represent that. Okay. This goes up here. Interestingly, the neck, the neck. Okay, that's upper trap there. Okay, cool. And then the kind of just a circle for the back of the head seems to be more or less appropriate, or maybe a square shape, squared out circle a little bit. I mean, like that helps to define what angle it is a little better. So I've tilted my head in an angle. His is more straight up and down. Supposed to be more accurate trying to copy it. Let's try that. Let's see what the difference makes much of a difference. Something like that. Alright. Should I do one more? Alright, usually when I say should I do one more, I do. I do one more. Because, you know, it's just a little extra practice. And I think when you're about to like burn out or you get bored of drawing, you should do a little more drawing. I think it's kind of true of anything you're trying to get better at. Like when you're working out in the gym and you get tired, you don't want to do any more reps, do one more set. You know what I'm saying? Push yourself a little bit past your comfort zone. Well, that is going to serve you well. Not too much, but at least a little bit, or too much, if you got it in you. If you got the eye of the tiger, and use it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, what do we want to look at now? Should we look at another one, or should we do our own? Let's do our own. It'll be more fun that way. Let's do our own. We're going to make one up. We're going to fit it right in here. So we're going to have it come like this. And then what are we going to do? It's going to be like that. 
what are we doing here? Maybe like this arm is up, and this arm is back. So we pull that off. I think we can pull it off if we believe in ourselves. All right, how about something like that? All right, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it because we believe in ourselves. We have mad art skills, don't we, my friend? Yes, we do. All right, let us go in with confidence and to make a fool of ourselves. <laughs> I feel very culty talking like that. I have, I have absorbed your identity into my own. Okay, so first off, if the deltoid is going to be right here, that might be a good landmark to start from. And then I can put the trapezius like that. And I know I got a curve like this, and it comes in like that. We're looking a little bit more from this angle, I would say. So let's have the spine. We're going to have two curves where the trapezius is for the spine. So we're going to put them in like this. I think I made these two too far apart. Let's move that a little closer like that. Maybe I should have turned it so that this doesn't erase 100%, but this lowers the opacity. It's okay, though. We've already done a bunch like this. Okay, so like that. So moving in here. We got one bump there. The second one curves out like this. That's where this guy goes. So I think I made the back way too skinny. This guy's far far buffer than we could have ever expected now remember this one goes behind this guy so let's just keep with that right now and see if it's gonna work for us oh interesting and this one doesn't come all the way down I think is that the fine so maybe the trapezius stops up here there we go and then it's this one that connects down to the erector spinate in the lower back and then we just have whatever the the uh, oblique popping out from that side. Cool. That actually looks all right. And then let's put this guy in. Let's try to remember the actual the shape we got from before. So we're widening the back. We're gonna add that little baby right there, and we're gonna plug it right into the triceps. So let's say oh, so let's say it plugs right into the triceps because I think not the triceps, but it plugs into the bone underneath. But for the sake of what you'd see, it would plug into the triceps. So that little line would go right around here. The triceps are going to come out. Let's see, what are we doing here? Triceps might be like that. Probably farther. Should I erase the arm? I like the arm, though. All right, let's just move them over. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not like going to keep this. I might as well have erased the arm. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll need it for reference or something, too. So, let's see. I just didn't feel like it, alright, guys? Get off my case. Okay, cool. Something like this. Alright, let's just leave it like that. We didn't study the arm, so. No pressure there. Then, we've got... Oh yeah, let's make it huge, because this guy, remember how buff these guys are? Like, we want it to be like this right here. Boom. Plugging in, like, almost to the tricep. Boom. Is that a little bit of an overkill? And then it kind of just, what, swoops down like that? Or maybe uh, that would be where the, the waist switches? I think that might be a bit of an overkill. Something like that. And then you'd put the shorts here. And uh, it kind of goes like that. And then there's... Say I put the... Is that doing anything? Okay, what about this side? We got this. We got this is going to be in front. We got a big old deltoid. We got a tricep. That. Gotta plug it in here. We got the forearm. We've got the forearm muscle, and we got the bonier part of the forearm. That's pretty cool. You think if you just kind of flesh it out and, and break up the simplicity, and then I'd have to look a little bit more about how they how they do their line work and stuff. That could uh, that could work. 
could be a successful this could be a successful drawing perhaps what do you guys think let me know if you've ever watched Baki the Grappler and if the uh, if it's good enough to continue with I'm on episode like four or five and I'm enjoying it so far but I rarely make it to the end of an anime so it didn't work out this one didn't work out extremely well I wouldn't say still uh, still got some work to do but at the same time it's uh, not too too shabby so I think that's it we'll call it a day for now had some fun drawing pocket the grappler probably come back and do the front view um, or in the legs on separate videos so for now peace God bless and stay fantastic everyone <laughs>